you can hold me down you 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 can hold me down you 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 can hold me down you 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 can hold me so uh after this eviction i decided to go ahead and um make two more rooms out here so what i'm gonna do is take this garage door off and close in that wall and i'm gonna put a window here and a door here because this will be a door to come into the garage as well and then i'm gonna go ahead and make from this wall all the way over a wall and then i'm gonna put a doorway here that leads here this is gonna be a hallway and then i'm gonna have two doors uh here one to go into this bedroom and one to go into this bedroom and then i'm also taking out this door and putting a window here And then you'll still have that doorway to go into the main room. Uh, that door might be taken out and moved out here, so it'll be an outside door coming into the garage. Uh, then also when people are having people over for the garage, you won't have to have them come through the house to come to the garage because I'll have that door out here. I went ahead and bought some of the stuff for the walls. And it also seems like prices have went way up. I think four, four years ago when I was buying these OSB boards, they were... 12 like 12 dollars for the cheapest sometimes i could get them for 10 if they were on sale these ones were 30 dollars on sale that's so uh woods went up uh same with the two by uh, fours i think i was getting them for around two dollars now they're six dollars and 43 cents i think it was right so uh and that's another thing with this door uh the track caps keeps falling off on some of the tenants and you can tell they already you can see how it's getting pushed in and it's like i don't want to keep on trying to fix this also and they're just get it's just getting tore up every time so uh i definitely want to get rid of this door as well so i'm going to close this in after i get that wall and stuff up i'll come back and put siding up to match this and yeah there will be a door right here going into the garage and there will be a window right here for that bedroom so once you go into this garage door, you're coming in right here, and then there will be a wall. The wall is going to be way, actually way over here. So it's going to be lined up with this pole. So those two rooms should be pretty good size. First day I got it all framed up. Wall put up, window put in, door. Got started on that back door and I cleaned up quite a bit of stuff. I gotta put the insulation in and go back with some more supplies. Got the framing done for the floor, getting some insulation in and put some of this tongue and groove three fourths inch OSB on there. I ran out of insulation. So I'm going to be taking off early today. I was hoping to finish this, but. All right, today I got most of the framing of the walls done. So we're going to have a door right here. So this will be the entry of the back of the house, also to the garage. I'm going to reuse the one that was already in there. And then once you step in, you're going to have a hallway. And right here you're gonna have a door and then right here you're gonna have a door so coming from the inside of the house this is gonna be just sheet rocked all the way down and like I said the door is gonna be there and the doors here so it's gonna be two bedrooms one bedroom two bedrooms And I'm still gonna run some two by six rafters across the top. And then there's probably gonna be a crawl space up there on the top, about, I don't know, three or four feet. One of the biggest challenge of adding this is getting everything straight and leveled. This building is really old and it's been added on and it's also sat. It's one of the reasons why I just enclosed this garage door. I wanted to actually make it where you can't notice it from the outside, but there used to be two car 
ports here. So there was a door right here, all the way down, and they enclosed this little part and then made this big wide door. And there used to be another doorway right here. So there used to have a brace right here that they cut out and put this here. So on the outside, I didn't want to deal with it. I mean, so I just built that in. But my original plans were to get rid of this so you couldn't notice it. But when I got in the inside, I noticed they had it all braced up and it used to be a two two car door here at one time so you can see uh this wall is leaning out that way just a hair so i had to frame it up where this wall's straight and same with over here you see the bottom has a big gap but i wanted to put it in level still and have the walls straight so even with that said, it's still not perfectly square. So yeah, there's gonna be a pretty good little crawl space. So once I get the rafters on the top done, I'll be running the electrical wires and then I'll be getting some doors because there will be another door here and a door there. And then I'll be putting that door up and then I'll be Putting some insulation in, probably gonna have to get some more. And then sheetrock. On the back side of the house, there was a door here that you've seen from the inside. I took that door out and enclosed it with a window for that other bedroom. Also enclose some closets. This one's gonna have a double closet. So one on this side and one on this side. Put it on this side of the wall, uh, mainly because I don't know how people are gonna put their rooms in here, but there's gonna be a baseboard under this. So that'll stop people from wanting to put their bed there. So they have an option of putting it here and there depending on what side I put the closet, because I was originally going to put the closet on that side, but I decided to go with this side. Who knows if it was a good idea or not, and then I also did it on this room, but just with one master closet, I guess. And it's uh, rain, so we got to, it gets warm to take this thing out and close that off, because it's no longer needed here. I just seen my weenie dog go across there but he's out checking out the yard yeah got the closets in and then again you're just gonna sheetrock that and Got the two by six put in as rafters, ran them all the way across, and then stapled the insulation in. And we're gonna be putting OSB board up on top because I have a strong feeling that people, future people living here will be throwing stuff up there and I don't want it falling through and tearing up stuff. I just have a strong feeling that people will be putting stuff up there. Got the electric in. Just put three plugs in each room. And I got uh, a plug for the baseboard heaters. And did the light switches, ceiling ones. And now I'm slowly starting to do the ceiling since I got the insulation up. And then I'll be putting the insulation in the walls and putting up the sheetrock on the walls. Got the walls insulated up. Ceiling's up again, as I already showed. I didn't ins insulate these inside walls. This is going to be a hallway here. I did the outside walls. Hanging sheetrock.
Weenie just a little bit ago had a squirrel trapped in here. So somehow he must have chased it into the door and had him up here. He was trying to climb up the wall and falling and running over here, jumping and falling. So I opened up the door to let him out. And he ran out that way. But he's still, and it's been a little bit and he's still searching for him. But now we got the drywall all sanded and now we're cleaning up the dust. Room. Get the primer up. Nice white walls. Now we're going to be getting ready to apply the paint. Here's the finished product of adding these two rooms. So I put a small hallway here. Go into the smaller room first. Let's be this wall and then you can get a ladder and go up there and I made a cubby hole and I also OSB wood the ceiling so people could get up there and move around and use it as storage. Okay, so it seems like everyone wants to ask questions on how much these projects cost me and how much uh, time it takes to get into this. So I decided to go ahead and let you guys know some of that stuff. The total cost, this is just materials and all the little stuff that went into this project since I put in the doors, windows, closed off that, all the wood and the wood, the lumber was almost three times the price that it has been. Just that alone has actually made this project go up a couple thousand dollars alone. Uh, this uh, building is actually a little town outside of where I live. I think it's like a 15, 20 minute drive. And so I was driving there every day. And then uh, I also go to Menards, which is also 30 minutes away, which is like another 15, 20 minutes past this town. So just in gas alone is almost $500 and that's included in this price. So my total price came out to $10,000. $131.18, and that was including everything. That's for all the wood, the installation, the electric, the boxes, the doors, the I mean drywall. Everything was included in that price. So this was actually a pretty expensive project, and I think it took me anywhere from a, a little over a month to a month and a half. And for labor, I would say, since I didn't really keep track of my time and stuff, but... I would say if someone was going to charge this on the very lowest end, and I doubt you're going to be able to find someone to do this kind of project for this price, but I would put it around 5000 and on the higher side, maybe 10000 So I would say right there in the middle, around 18000 is what I would expect to pay people to actually add, uh, do this job anyways. So at total 
with labor, I would put this project would have cost me around $18,131. If you add that in, uh, if, when I was running this as a one bedroom with a loft, I was getting $600 a month. Now I'm going to raise it up to $800 now that it's a three bedroom and still a loft. So now I'm going to try to get $800 out of it. So I'm only increasing my rent $200 by adding these rooms. So $18,000. That comes out to a 7.5 years. I should get my money back. And again, things don't always go to plan. Things always ends up get, having some cost. I lose money doing something, don't get rent. So I'm looking at an easy 8.5 years that it's going to take me to recoup that money. So this is a long-term investment. And so I thought I would add that stuff in here for you guys, for you guys' information. So there it is. So enjoy, guys. Girl might want to see this. Don't forget it. He's gonna get his ass fucked. He's gonna get your ass whooped.